Hi, this is the missing part three. Oops, can't get my chair right. Okay, so what I have right here is I have Quinn Gold and and uh, the Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink. And if anything, I may have this mixed a little bit strong. The thing is, it should be very, very light. It should be lighter than what you, uh, way lighter than what you expect to wind up with. All right. And, and I know that this will make sense in a minute. Just hold on. I'm going to take a little bit of this mixture and I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to add in a little bit of permanent brown. Well, that's quite a lot. There, that's probably enough for this. Like that. The thing is, when you add a red, which permanent brown is really a red, uh, into white, you tend to get pink. Well, that's not too pinky looking. But I'm going to put just a little bit more Quinn Gold into it just to make sure that it doesn't start looking pink. Okay, so now I've got this light mixture and I've got a little bit darker one with some red in it. Okay, here we go. Pretend this is the cliff. Here's the top of the cliff, okay, there. Here's where I tested my color and let it dry because it dries darker than it looks wet. It's just the opposite of normal watercolor. You're now operating in gouache territory. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be adding a lot of water to this. I'm gonna be working pretty wet. And you notice I've got my paper tilted up. I think I'll get a little stronger than that. So I, I happen to like this color better than raw sienna. Who knows, I may get rid of raw sienna and just start doing this. I don't know yet. Raw sienna has its place, I'm sure. But this is just really nice. The thing is, it's I'm still treating it like a watercolor. I don't want to put it on thick. I want drips and drizzles going down the cliff. Let's get a little bit more color here. Oh, it's going on unevenly. Good. That's what we want. Let's put some more in up here and let it let it work its way down. Add some more water here and there. And let it run on down to the bottom of the page. This is just an imitation. There's not the actual drawing because the actual drawing is on part two and part four. <laughs> okay. Now, while that's wet, we're going to take this mixture. I'll get the extra water out of my brush. I want this to be a little thicker, and I just want to brush it in some places to make some darker streaks in here. I don't want to put it everywhere. Everywhere is the same as just putting that down in the first place. What we want is we want some variety like that. I just tilt it a little while, but don't tilt it forever. So now let's turn it this way. I probably don't want those white areas left in here. Much as, uh, much as I love a good twinkle, Maybe I'll leave a few little twinkles. Okay. So I'm going to give it about half a minute, and then I'll be back. Okay, it's beginning to dry. I think we still got a little bit of moisture there. Just enough. The sur it looks like the surface is drying. So I'm trying to get a little bit of uh, spatters on here to see if I can get a little bit of runbacks. We may get some, they probably, 
They, we may get some. They probably won't be real pronounced because of the white ink in this, but we might get a little bit. And then I'll take my darker mixture, too, and do a few splatters there. Okay. Okay. Now, when that's dry, and you notice, see, this is still pretty light. It's still like watercolor. It's still translucent, at least. It just has some white mixed into it but we've thinned it with water enough that it's still like a transparent mixture. Okay, so when this is dry, go to part four. That's all. Bye.